Five new concerns about Travis County's policy on immigration detainers. Why some people who support the policy now want the sheriff to make changes. The concern comes after an accused child sex offender almost got released on bond after Travis County officials denied an immigration detainer request. Today's confusion led some people to drop support for the Travis County policy on immigration holds, and now the sheriff's office is looking into changes. KXAN's Phil Prazen joins us now with a closer look. Phil? Well, Shannon Robert, I spoke with Kristen Dark from the Travis County Sheriff's Office, and she tells me Hugo Javier Gallardo Gonzalez is still in jail on charges of sexually assaulting a nine year old. Investigators believe the assaults went on for two years. But at first, Travis County declined to hold him for possible deportation, and now more Texas lawmakers are saying the sheriff's policy should change. A room of Texas Republican senators gathered to draw attention to news reports showing people here illegally can commit crimes against children and then bond out. We have a clear message to Sheriff Hernandez. Again, please rescind your policies. I want a safe Travis County and a safe Texas. It is time to do the right thing. In this specific case, Travis County admitted they originally declined to hold Gallardo Gonzalez for immigration authorities. He paid the bond money but had to wait until a court-ordered GPS tracker was connected to his leg. During that time, Travis County sheriffs say they learned of a new element in his case, raising the charge to aggravated sexual assault and then decided to hold him. Major Wes Pretty from the Travis County Sheriff's Office told KXAN in a statement that they intend to review this matter and consider possible policy modifications to account for similar future issues. The Republican senators left the press conference without taking questions, but then two senior Texas Democratic senators went to the podium. Because of this early confusion, Senators Royce West and Carlos Uresti called on Travis County to hold more people for immigration officials. Understand, these persons are innocent until proven guilty. However, if you have these types of offenses being committed by persons that don't belong in this country, and there's a detainer, you need to detain them. End of story. Until the wheels of justice prevail. There is a bill going through the Texas legislature that would force jails to hold anyone here illegally for federal authorities. SB4 is an emergency item of Governor Abbott's. The two Democrats, Senators West and Uresti, told me they still don't support SB4 because they have concerns that it would lead to racial profiling. But they do say it's time for Sheriff Hernandez to expand the list of crimes for which she's willing to hold suspects. For ice. Robert All right. Shannon. All right, Phil, thank you very much for that report. Looking closer now, under the sheriff's current policy, Travis County will only accept ICE detainers for people held under four specific charges. Here are those charges capital murder, first degree murder, aggravated sexual assault, and human smuggling. After news of an increased number of immigration arrests sparked protests in Austin, Mayor Steve Adler is sending a message to people across the city. The mayor sent an open letter calling the ICE operation overly broad. He said the raids are causing distrust between ICE and local law enforcement. Adler says, quote, that makes our community less safe. The mayor emphasized Austin is a welcoming city and said the focus of police is to keep people safe.